Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make lavender. Uh, lavender is probably one of the easiest things that I'm going to ever show you how to make, uh, but very, very effective and just looks lovely uh, as part of the, the cottage garden wind cake that we do. Um, so uh, what I'm going to use for the purple is actually not the colour you'd think, it's actually the, the Bordeaux burgundy colour from uh, Squire's Kitchen, uh, and it's a florist's paste, um, but you can uh, just use any other paste, but best to use a, a a florist paste rather than sugar paste because it's too soft, okay? So something that's got a bit more structure to it, strength to it. So I'm just going to soften that up. Um, and then if you just roll out a ball uh, into a sausage, like that, and then just cut maybe like two, two and a half centimetre pieces. Like so. Okay, so that's going to be four, and I've got a 20 gauge green wire, which I'm just going to cut in half. Okay, uh, and all I want to do then is just take them, uh, just soften it up again. Actually, probably easiest, and make it into a nice sausage, slightly pointed, like that. Okay. Now you can make some smaller ones if you want, so as if they're just, just freshly opened. And then just get your wires, dip them in some water or glue, and uh, push it almost the full length, almost right to the top. Just so it really doesn't come out the end. And there we are. And then all I want to do then do is then get a small uh, pair of scissors. The little craft ones are probably better than these ones, these IKEA ones. And all I want to do is the same as the tree, but I'm cutting it upside down. And I'm just going round and I'm just trimming the little flowers. So just exactly the same way as how we do the tree. Just keep spinning it round so you get a slightly smaller at the top so you don't chop the top off. Like so. Okay, so just cut. Okay, just keep spin it around. Now you can do the exact same for making heather. Just green, do it a bit longer, and when once you've cut it, just get a bag of white royal icing. And you can just uh, pipe the little dots on, which gives it the heather look. So just keep spinning it around. The nice thing about lavender, it gives it height, it gives the cake height, um, and it fills any of the wee bits that you're just wanting to fill. So it's almost like a filler flower, actually. But you're best having little uh, clumps of three if you're going to put it on your cake. There we are. So that's just got the three made. Now I have got some that I made earlier. So there we go. Oh, four. Oops. Sorry, there's uh, four I've made. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch here as well. So what I've done is I've just given them a little bend, like so. And uh, you can tape them up. Um, but I generally just don't bother with the tape because I just put, I actually put some tape in the bottom for these. A little bend and just adding it to the posy. And there we go. I just love the lavender. I think it looks great. It's so simple to make. So there we go. Some, some lavender.